Oh boy, here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Today we're starting the video off a little bit scary. I needed to go in town and get some essential food for my parents. Hold on. This freaking wind is getting bad. I'm at Walmart. Uh, you know, during this whole COVID thing, you don't really want to be out and about. You only come here for essentials. And I actually have to pick up some essential stuff for my parents. This wind is so bad. Hold on. While I'm getting groceries for my parents at Walmart, I decided, hey, I want to go do some social distancing while fishing. So I'm going to get some lures here at Walmart and take them while I fish it. I've been while I fishing the last like four days in a row and I haven't caught anything. I've gotten absolutely bageled. That shows you how tough fishing can be in the spring. We're going to be trying a new spot that I've never been to. I got a hot tip there for my brother Sam. So we're going to go there, see if the old Walmart lures can come clutch for me. So without further ado, let's go inside. Man, this is crazy. They have signs here and like cones here. You need to enter in a certain area. Then you got these little arrows to direct you to how to get inside. All right, so we have made it inside. It's actually pretty slow in here. Like I said, most people are staying inside doing some social distancing and people are only coming here just to get the essentials, which I do need to get again for my parents. So that's why I'm here. The last time I did a Walmart lure challenge was in the winter. I actually came to this exact same Walmart and picked out some lures to go perch fishing. And you guys seem to really like that video. So I'm gonna do it again, but this is gonna be a spring walleye edition. All right, come on, baby. Show me the freaking goods here. Should I do the cheapest lure that I find? Hmm. The place that we're going to is mostly a live bait bite only. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I can't just get like a little spinner and use that because I'm probably not going to catch anything. And like I said, I've been struggling to catch fish as it is. So really smart idea to do a challenge here. I need to find just like a simple little jig head and take that fish in and tip it with a minnow because that's always the juice. Live minnows are always the juice for spring walleye fishing. I'm looking for Walmart's cheapest jig head to use to go fishing today. This one's $3.32 and that's Northland Tackle. All right, I think these guys are gonna be the cheapest over here. These are the Eagle Claws, as you can see, $2.76. Now, what color am I feeling? They have a lot of different colors. They have this green, they have white, they have glow in the dark, pink, orange, black, yellow, and then like a mixture. All right, let's get these pink guys right here. Ooh, big bet, quarter ounce Eagle Claw ball head jigs. These look pretty good. And again, these are the cheapest jig heads that Walmart sells. I'm not seeing anything cheaper. So if you guys are looking to save a little bit of money, go to your local Walmart, get some cheap jig heads, tip them with some minnows, and you'll be catching some fish. So got the little jig heads right here. We're going to take these to the lake. I'm in a time crunch, guys. I got to get some gas still. I still have to get some minnows. I have to make a run like an hour away from Brookings to do some fishing. So I got to get going. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the juicy spot and it's actually looking pretty good. I, I took a little walk down there and we're gonna be fishing kind of just like this. It's like a little spillway kind of thing with a dam on top. And one thing to key in on these spring walleyes is you gotta find moving water, man. I mean, these lakes around South Dakota, they're not completely warmed up enough to where I think the fishing is super good on shore yet. But if you can find moving water, that's gonna be a major key. I wanna apologize in advance that the wind today is gonna be absolutely terrible. However, we are gonna get all rigged up. I got the Walmart jigs on there. I'm going to get my minnows on the jig, toss it out there and see if I can make something happen. Like I said, I've been dry lately. Like, I mean, Sahara desert dry with walleyes. So without further ado, I'll see you guys at the water. Alrighty, opening up the old Eagle Claws quarter ounce jigs. Let's see what my first impressions are. Okay, well the paint is already coming off, so I mean that's a great sign. <laughs> that's that's not good. Man, that doesn't feel like a quarter ounce, but I, I trust them. The biggest thing about these jigs that I hope that's gonna stand up is the hook quality. I hope that these hooks are not gonna bend out because I heard rumors that there are good fish in here. Ah, oh, man, these seem a little dull and they don't seem like the best quality. So if I lose some fish tonight, I'm blaming it all on the jig head, not me. So we're gonna put these in here along with pliers and a ruler for when I catch a 30 incher. And we're off. Cue the terrible audio. And we're just gonna take a minnow right here with our Walmart jig, our cheap Walmart jig. Go right through the head. Bam, that's the setup we're using today. Now, there's the spillway down here which I wanna try first, but then after the spillway, I wanna fish above the dam. how deep it is right there. Oh 
god, I got a fish, boy. Oh my god, I had a bite. No, I had a bite. Oh my goodness, I had a fish on. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling a lot of rocks down there, and my thought process was that some walleye spilled into here on accident, so they're just kind of sitting down here in this current, waiting for bait fish to come through, then they eat them when they come through. That's a bite. I got something. That's a bite. I have something, boys. In this small little spillway. In this small little spillway. What do we got? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this a walleye? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a walleye. In this small little spillway. Oh, it's a nice one. Uh, oh, God. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. On the Walmart lure. On the Walmart lure. Get up. Don't. Come here, guy. Come here, guy. Chill. Chill. Oh, my God. It's a nice one. Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that in this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Did you guys just see that? What is going on, dude? I just caught this walleye in this little spillway. Let's go on the Walmart lure. Oh, you guys can't hear me whatsoever, probably. I just caught the biggest walleye of the spring so far. Look at that giant, dude. I mean, not an absolute giant. We're gonna get a measurement real quick. Sorry about the wind, gonna get a check real quick on this. Nice, healthy 24 incher. A nice 24 inch walleye in this tiny spillway on the Walmart Jake. Let's go. All right, boys, one last look at this nice walleye. I am so excited. I called it, dude. I said, hey man, this is a good place for walleye to get trapped. They get, they come over the dam and get trapped in here. And then what they do, they just sit by this current and wait for fish to come and eat them. Or they wait for bait fish to come and then they eat them. But this walleye is looking like she's ready to go almost. I don't know, I don't have, there she goes. <sighs> Woo! I'm pumped, boys. Like I said, I've been on a drought. Five days, four days in a row, no fish. That's one hell of a way to start it. Dude, the Walmart jig held up. Oh my goodness, we're gonna hook this guy and get right back in there. It's only gonna get better, boys. <sighs> wow. That was insane, dude. Like I knew, I knew there might be fish in here. And I had a bite right away, and then I got a new minnow on. I came back here, got the bite again, set the hook, and it was a nice walleye. Wow, this guy hit hard. I got one. There's another one, boys. Next cast, next cast. Let's go, that's a neater. Let's go, that was the very next cast. Oh God, they must be stacked in here. That was the very next cast, oh my goodness. Just a beautiful looking walleye. We're gonna measure him real quick and see if he needs to go back or if he's coming home. Little 13 incher, going back. See you later, my guy. All right, two, two fish back to back, boys. Can we make it three? Can we make it three? Oh, I got Sam and the boys here now. Oh, there's a bite right there. I got another one. Oh, I took it out of his mouth. Oh no, I took it out of his mouth, dude. All right, boys, they're literally chilling like right here. I'm just dragging this jig across their face and they're munching it. like a wall high a wall high let's go it looks like a neater boys let's go let's go hey he's a little small get up here son actually if he's 14 ish 14 and a half i'm keeping him all right boys first eater of the night 14 inches i'll take that i haven't ate walleye in a while so i'm kind of hungry you have another fish walleye Ooh, oh god oh god no net. Oh yeah, I have the net. Ah. Ah. Oh my God, dude, let's go. Bro, no way you're just smashing walleye right here. And I'm sitting there snagged. Bro, let's go. Ripping lips. Hell yeah. Actually, with Sam? With Sam? There's one. It feels like a walleye. I wanna get that net actually. Oh no, a little guy. Eater. 
Yeet. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Perfect. Like 17 inch walleye for the grease. We'll take it. We're putting a bead down on them in this little spillway. Don't underestimate moving water. So one thing I am noticing about my hook right here, the Walmart hook, that one wall, I just bent it out. I'm still gonna use it just to, because I'm lazy. The quality is not there. Like these hooks are bending out already, but I'm catching walleye on it, so I'm gonna keep at it. God, it's insane. I'm surprised we caught two 24s out of here. There's one right there. This is a, feeling like a walleye. Another one, please be a walleye. Uh, nice walleye, nice walleye. I'm gonna grab the net here. Oh God, oh God, nice. This one's not keeping. Another nice walleye, dude. This one's probably 22. Oh my goodness. What is going on, dude? Oh my. I'm gonna have to flex on the IG story, dude. Oh my, this is insane, dude. On the Walmart jig. Oh, I am not mad about this, boys. There's one. Oh, this is a pike. This is definitely a pike. Either a pike or a nice walleye. Oh, it's a pike. Yeah, yeet. All right, nice little colorful pike. Love to see it. Oh, God, yeah. Got some walleyes in there. And then if you guys are wondering, this water is from my house. It's not from the lake. Holy cow. Just got home from an absolutely unreal day of fishing. Like, I did not expect to catch that many walleyes or fish in general in that tiny little spillway. Like, I, I took one look at it, and I was like, dang, there could be fish trapped in there. I want to give it a try. And what do you know? There was some fish in there. And not just any fish. Like, there was some big walleyes in there, guys. Like, 24 inch. Like, it's not like an absolute giant. But, I mean, that's a very respectable size fish and wow i'm i'm honestly speechless that i caught fish there what i kind of want to do is go back there and catch those fish again and then dump them back in the main lake after i released them i was kind of sitting there thinking dude i should have definitely put those back in the main lake just so they could have lived because i don't know what those fish are going to do i think they're just going to sit in there and die maybe i mean they're still going to be getting fed and stuff like that but i feel like they would live a better life if i put them in the upper lake so drop a comment down below and let me know if i should do that but made it back home i ended up keeping two fish it was like that 17 incher and then a 14 incher I caught five or six walleyes total and then like two pike or something like that. So absolutely unreal day. I am going to do a little catch and cook action. It's pretty late at night. It's actually like 11 p.m. It was kind of a drive out to the spot. So I'm going to clean these off camera and then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning because I have a special recipe that you're not going to want to miss. Are you gonna do anything, my guy? Why are you acting so chill? Where's your Kong? Where's your Kong? Watch this, give me your Kong. Stay. Nice catch, my guy. Good catch, little girl. Oh, okay, see ya. Good girl, that's my good girl, yeah. Well guys, it's the next morning. I got some good night's sleep. After not catching fish and then going out and having the day I did yesterday, yes, I slept like a baby. That's one way to get some good sleep right there. I'm a little bit hungry and it is breakfast time, so I'm gonna make a little bit of walleye for breakfast. You're gonna take a gander over here. Ooh, look at the wall heads. Look at that, I even wrote on there. John's wall heads, do not eat because my girlfriend would kill me. I need to bring her some so she can eat it. I'm gonna cook just one filet. I'm not like too hungry right now. I just wanna cook one of them. And a lot of you guys have been asking, hey John, what are some healthy recipes that you can do for walleyes? Usually I cook them like super unhealthy and that's the best way to eat them in my opinion. But I do like to make them healthy sometimes. And today I'm gonna show you just a quick, easy little recipe that you guys can do at home to have a little bit more healthy of a meal. Alrighty guys, so we are gonna cook this wall heads right now. I'm just gonna take one of these guys out. Man, that's a kegger. I do not need that big of one. Oh, here we go. Look at that, nice white meat, not bad, not really that bad of a bloodline at all. We're just gonna take this guy, put her in the pan, just like that. Then, all we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna come over here. We're just gonna grab the old Cosmos Dry Rub, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, and we're just gonna do a little bit of sprinklage on there. 
just gonna do a little, little bit, just like that. And we're gonna do the other side, and we're gonna let this cook for about in like two and a half minutes on each side, then it should be ready to eat. But some of you guys are asking, hey John, if I wanna fry fish, how can I make it a little bit healthier? There's a few things you can do. One, you can do the water method where you have it soak in water and you just take it out of the water, dump it in the batter, then put it in the grease. That's a little bit healthier. And if you guys are looking for somewhat like of a healthy batter, I would suggest frying magic. Frying magic has a little bit less calories, less carbs, and it's just a little bit more healthy, I think. So frying magic, go check it out. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for a little bit and then I'll see you guys once it's done. Yeah, that looks good. I bet you want some, don't you? Mm -hmm. So this is the finished product right here. Super, super easy. Took less than seven minutes to make. And all I did, again, I took a little bit of spray olive oil and just sprayed a little bit in the pan, threw this in there, put a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic on there. And that's the finished product right there, guys. So we are actually gonna take a little bit of this guy right here. Just, I think walleye is the best freshwater fish to eat. Uh, don't at me because I am right. This stuff is amazing. The whitest, best meat that you can put in your mouth. So good every time. Oh, why is like a treat, guys? Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Just because you're so gosh darn cute. Look at her. She is just dialed in on this. Okay. Love you. How'd I do? Was that good? Huh? Did you like that? Okay. All right, it's time to give you a bath. As cute as you are, you do stink a little bit. It's time for a bath. She is just ripping around outside, but that is where we're gonna end today's video. Just got done eating that walleye, and man, I will say that was very good. And again, it's a little bit healthier than the usual way I cook it, and I just wanna show you guys that, hey, you can make walleye super good and healthy to eat. I had an amazing time fishing that little spillway. It was very shocking to me to see all those fish in there. If you guys want to see me go back there and do a little fish rescue mission where I catch those fish in that spilling way and then bring them up top and put them back in the main lake, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm pretty sure it's legal because it's the same body of water. I'm not going to be transporting them to different bodies of water. It's literally the same body. It's just, you know, spilling way. And then on top of the dam is a regular lake. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video. Again, be safe during this whole quarantine coronavirus thing and i hope all of you guys at home are keeping your sanity because i'm starting to lose it but let's just all hang in there we got this thank you so much for watching today's video we'll see you guys next time